ChatGPT and MetaTrader 5 is a marriage made in heaven. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take these two very powerful pieces of software and combine them to make all your trading dreams come true and take your trading to the next level. I'm Boris Schlossberg, let's get into it. ChatGPT is the world's most popular software. It can answer almost any questions you have. It can even analyze charts if you wanted to. And now it can write very serviceable software for MetaTrader 5 platform, the world's most popular trading software for the retail world. Not only that, but it can create software agents, EA robots that could trade for you. That means for the first time ever, without having to have programming knowledge, you can create trading strategies that can trade for you. That is absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done using these two very powerful pieces of software. But before we start, let's understand that ChatGPT is not perfect. It will make mistakes. But for the first time ever, it has reasoning logic inside of it, which means it can reason its way to a solution. And as long as we're patient, as long as we can help guide it, it will be able to get you the right answer. That's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to use the software with MetaTrader 5 so that we can come to the right solution for what we want in our trading. Let's go to the charts and see how it's done. Let's take a look at how we can combine the power of ChatGPT, in this case, ChatGPT 4.0 with MetaTrader 5 to create some robots for ourselves. On the left-hand side, I have the ChatGPT. On the right-hand side, I have the MetaTrader 5 environment. And um, before we start, let's make sure uh, that we can set up and properly place the script that we're going to write into MetaTrader 5. To do that, we have to go into MetaTrader 5 with my favorite broker, 8cap. We're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Meta Language Editor. We're going to pull up the editor itself. And in the editor, we're simply going to go File, New, new File. And that's going to give you a list of what you want to create as a new file. We're simply going to create an expert advisor. We're going to choose a template just it's going to give us a template which we're then going to erase and completely completely um, not need but this is how we want to create the first uh, instance of it i'm going to say yes go to next let's call this moving average crossover and it's going to give you all sorts of um, built-in functions which we're just going to say next next to all of this is going to be ignored we're not going to need any of this product because all of it is going to be within the uh, chat gpt text so anyways we've done this now we're going to go back to ChatGPT and we're going to give it a prompt. Create a simple moving average crossover EA in MetaTrader 5. That's all I gave it as a prompt. It says, here's a simple moving average crossover expert advisor for MetaTrader 5. EA uses two moving averages, fast and slow, generate buy and sell signals. It will place trades when the crossover conditions are met. Two moving averages, fast and slow. But when the moving average crosses above the slow, fast goes above the slow, sell when the fast crosses below the slope, just basic moving average crossover. Here's the code, right? It's done a few other things here too. It says, copy the code, save the files moving average crossover, compile and attach to the EA. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna go to the code, copy it, and let's see what we can do here. Paste it, file, save, and hit compile. Now, almost never it works on the first time. So you have to be patient with the chat GPT and work your way to the problems to solve whatever issues you have on the syntax. So we hit compile and we get a few errors here, actually only four errors. There's a couple of ways we can let ChatGPT know these errors. Easiest way is we can just simply highlight all of this and copy it, right? We just say control C, or if you go right click over here, you can say copy, right? And then we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and when it's talking to us, we're just simply going to paste these errors. That's all we need to do is just paste the errors and ChatGPT will know what to do. So now we've pasted the errors. It says the bid and ask variables are not predefined in MetaTrader 5 as they were in 4. So we need to make sure that we define this with a stop loss and a take profit. Here's the updated code snippet. Okay, open cell function. It's basically creating all these little functions in MetaTrader 5. Uh, it's giving you just the code snippets. So I want to say, please give me the complete code. And now it's gonna give you the complete code with all those snippets. And it's going through here, line by line. Okay, and it said, this code has been updated to resolve the issues of bid and ask variables, replacing it with symbol info double calls. Let me know if you need any further adjustments. Okay, let me copy this. 
and let's see if this code, Control A, I'm gonna delete this. We're gonna save this. And let's see if we can compile it. And it compiles. The code is good now. Now this code is called Moving Average Crossover. Now let's go to our MT5 environment and just find the code and see what it's doing. Okay, so I'm gonna close the uh, editor here. We're gonna go to Expert Advisors. It's called Moving Average Crossover. This is the code that we want, right? I'm actually gonna delete this. And this is the only thing that's, that's trading right now because we're doing this on the weekend is Bitcoin. So again, my favorite broker, a uh, ACAP, it actually trades on the weekends. So we're going to, this is a code that's called Moving Average Crossover, right? So we're gonna drop this code over here, 1.0. Uh, and let's go into its properties to check what the code is doing. We're going to go into the properties of the code. And here it's set up fast moving average, slow moving average, lot size, stop loss in points, take profit in points, and a magic number. It already did a lot of the work for us. And all of this, by the way, is totally user definable. I believe we can change the value here. So if you want to make uh, the fast one uh, 10, and uh, the slow one, D100 on the crossovers, we can do that as well, right? So it's done all of these things. We can do lot sizes at, you know, one size uh, or, you know, two sizes, whatever we want. We can say, okay. And we can put the stop loss and points here. That's effectively, well, on Bitcoin, it's a thousand points per point, I believe, or, or a thousand points is like 10 points. Uh, on Bitcoin. So we'd have to make our points a little bit larger. On Euro dollar or something like this, that would be like 10 pips because it's actually 10th of a pip. Whatever the point value is of each particular instrument, you can see that you can modify it this way. And it even gives you a magic number so you can identify this EA. That's already by itself a very, very functioning, fully cool EA. Now, what if we wanted to do one other thing to it to make it a little bit more interesting? We wanted to say, can you add a trailing stop loss with user defined initial settings. Let's see if it understands me. Oh, it doesn't even like, doesn't even say yes. It's just simply adding a trailing stop loss to the code. See, it's, it's creating a function called apply trailing stop. So it says the trailing stop functionality has been added to the EA. You can now configure trailing stop input parameter to specify the trailing stop distance and points. Let me know if you need further. Okay, cool. Let's try this. I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna go to tools, meta language indicator. We're going to erase this code, repaste the one with trailing stop, save it, and it compiles perfectly. Beautiful. So now it's compiling, and um, now we can just simply refresh the code, I believe. Um, if we simply say refresh and reattach this back on the chart, and now we have a trailing stop in points right here, a 50 points, whatever we want, whatever we want it to be. We already have a stop. So here we have a fully functioning moving average crossover EA, which we can now put to use. We can test this, we can strategy test this, we can see if it's working, we can put it into actual production and let it run. We can run our demo and we can create all sorts of uh, parameters, whether it's 1, 100, 10, 20, crossover 8 against 18, one minute charts, hourly charts, daily charts, whatever you want it to do. We now have a fully functioning trading system made up of this. Are you guys ready for the absolute best part? Now that we created this basic moving average crossover EA with the risk parameters all built in, we can now use ChatGPT to create any kind of logic we want, recycling the same risk parameters. This is the real beauty of basically leveraging all this code once we had to get it going. So I'm gonna do something very, very simple here. I'm just simply gonna create a new robot that's gonna trade off RSI values. And again, they're going to be user-defined. And over here, I have my basic prompt. It says, read this MQL5 file. Keep all the risk logic code, but instead of moving average crossover, create new logic where buy sell is triggered by user-defined RSI values, right? So now all I'm gonna do is simply take my moving average crossover code over here, which has already been compiled, working nice and uh, easy. And I'm going to just paste it in here and hit return. And now GPT is going to 
do the following thing. Removed moving average crossover logic, added RSI calculation, and user-defined input levels for buy-sell conditions. Here it is. Here's the whole code, right? Now I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to compile it right here. And boom, compiles beautifully. Now we have moving average crossover RSI. This is obviously not moving average, it's just simply RSI details, but I just simply named it that way to just give myself the knowledge that this is the uh, the code that we have. So now, let's go over here and lay down this robot onto the chart, and let's see what it does. I'm going to put this robot on the chart, say okay, um, and here's the really cool part here. Let's go into this properties and see everything that it does. It does all this incredible work for us. It tells us RSI buy level, and it does a default of 30. We can actually make it RSI buy level 70 and RSI sell level 30 if we wanted to be momentum traders. We can make it 50, we can make it 45. Anything that's user defined is totally fine. And then we have a whole bunch of trade settings which have been completely recycled and are continuous to any EA we wanna use, any robot we wanna use. So we can put the lot size, number of trades, we can put the stop losses, the take profits, the trailing stop in here, the maximum allowed spread. Obviously this is a value if you're trading something like crypto, it's gonna to have to be much larger than just two 20 basis points. Do you wanna use money management? You can set that to false or true. And if you do, then you're just gonna risk 1% of your whole account per trade. All of this really makes it's so much easier, so much better to be able to just use it in any trade idea that you want. That's the true beauty of having this code. Once you have the template, you can just create it over and over and over again. And that is the real power of putting together Chad GPT and MetaTrader 5, giving you all the power in your fingertips to create the trade strategies that you want. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So hit subscribe if you like this video. I'll make more for you there. Boris Schlossberg, I wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. I'll see you guys in the markets. Over and out.